many knots is it? How many knots? The forecast, in fact, from the National Hurricane Center has this strengthening to become our first hurricane of the season. Yes! She's good to go eat this. Gonna go take it out to them. Midnight snack. If I were a fish, I would love you. I know. Hey, what's up fam? This is Jaden's dad here, the one who made her famous. I'm not famous. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So we're getting ready to leave tomorrow. We're leaving Martinique, kind of bummed because we love this place, but there is a tropical storm that is on its way. Are they gonna see my underwear? This is awkward on its way it's basically right where we're at it's going to hit somewhere in these this eastern caribbean and so we're going to be going from where we are now in martinique and we're going to be working our way down south um possibly all the way down to this little island called carico we're just trying to get away from it ain't nobody want to be around when there's a hurricane coming through you know what i'm saying hello my name is Shaden. i live on a boat and i'm currently talking to you in my bathroom because the generator is going and it's very loud. We're in a bit of a sticky situation here. We have a hurricane coming right to where we are at, the eye of the hurricane. Tomorrow we are leaving at 4 a.m. to go on passage. It's 8.20. I just spent an hour doing all the dishes because I wasn't a very good boat kid today. I hung out with all my friends all day. <laughs> which is very unfortunate. So we're trying to get this thing started so we're not drifting out in the middle of the ocean, which we basically are right now. Yep. Always have spare gas tanks on you. Gross. Uh, he's pretty loud. Real nice. Real. I didn't do a lot of boat work. I did vacuum though. I wanna show you guys what I do before we go on a super long passage, how I get my room ready. I have to put things away that are sitting on my counter so they don't fall into my toilet if I forget to close the seat. That has happened before. I don't recommend it. Oh my goodness, your videos are amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, I like them. I love them a lot. I'm so glad. So, I just got off the phone with my grandma and oh, I miss her so much. One of the hardest parts about living on a sobo is being away from people like her. It's most likely going to be a very early morning tomorrow. The anchor chain is right next to my bed and I always get woken up because I'm a super light sleeper but this light is really bright. Anyways, no one really knows how this hurricane is going to play out. It could be something super small and nothing to worry about, or it could get really bad. Um, weather changes every day, and honestly, it can change in a couple minutes or a couple hours. So you're in for the adventure. Um, I'll update you guys in the morning. Good night. So hi guys, I know I said I was going to bed, but I actually have to go swim 
Uh, it's currently 1046, and I have to go swim to Brett's boat, because I left my sunglasses and shirt at their boat, and we're probably not going to see them for at least two months. Yeah, alright, well, I'm meeting you halfway, so let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh. Yay, darkness. Oh my gosh, a fish just jumped. Fish don't hurt you. I'm going to be fine. This is going to be good. I decided I don't want to see. I'd rather not see a big tarpon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Shh, be quiet for your glasses. <laughs> you must be come out of the boat and be looking down and there's like four just big old tarpon hanging out and I got scared. Thing. It's like absence makes the heart fonder. Yeah, Jay, no, Do you know no, what no, that no. means? All I know is see you later, alligator. <laughs> and that's the difference between boys and girls. That's all us Texans know. Get off my boat. Just kidding. Bye. You will never guess what time it is. 1.30 in the morning. I feel amazing. I just went on a two-hour swim with the Groms, and then we hung out, and we talked, and we looked through our camera rolls together. I need to go to bed. Good night for real. Oh! It's four, it's hot, the boat is moving. Yeah, it's moving and it's a little bit rocky, so we'll see how much longer I can take of this. <sighs> it's um, nine in the morning and I just woke up. So this beautiful sound of the ocean. My parents did leave at 4 a.m. in the morning. They didn't wake me up. They're the best parents in the world for that. And I feel like I should get up now. Good morning. from this whole island on my boat and it's like really making it worse that we're passing it. What is it? The island. What island is it? St. Vincent. I'm talking to my friend on the radio. Oh, that's further than I expected. So yeah, 30 miles makes sense. Well, uh, have a nice rest of your passage and don't run on ground or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dav, don't worry. I'll try not to run on ground. Okay, bye Dav. Bye. Back to 1-6. A fun part of traveling with friends is getting to hail them on the radio. Um, it makes passages more exciting and less boring. So we are going a good 8 knots on like 19, 20 knots of wind beam reach, which is incredible. This sail is going really well. Um, none of us are sick. Cohen's watching a movie, Britain's watching a movie, Hudson's taking a nap. Dad's at the helm, mom's doing laundry, and I'm. What am I doing? I, I want to get off this boat. I feel so terrible right now. 
Oh, Cohen, are you okay? Are you not feeling very good? Yeah. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna be okay. I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but I've never thrown up before, so. I think it's just because it's so hot. We're going downwind, there's not a lot of wind. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wet. When you haven't gone on... Yep, you have a fever. 97.2, <laughs> yep, I have a fever. When you haven't gone on passage for a while, you don't have as much tolerance as you do when you, you know, sail a lot and your body acclimates to the motion of the ocean. The motion of the ocean, but... Ooh, dinner smells good. <laughs> Hopefully I can eat. So the wind has picked up and we're sailing again. My stomach just feels not very good. We got a squall headed our way. Waves are getting bigger. Probably some rain. How many knots is it? How many knots? Okay, we're in a bit of a storm right now. I'm completely soaking wet. Um, I'm also kind of shaking. I'm really scared. Um, there's a lot of wind. And she got soaking wet from over there. Yes! We're gonna stop the main. Okay. No, no, come on. Stop filming this, I'm sorry. We're not filming this. Go carry for a second. you know it was it was pretty hectic for a moment there but we're good stuff like this happens hasn't happened in a while what a crazy day it's been oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah everybody's safe and doing good it's it's inside all right we found ourselves in a little squall here a little bit rainy a little bit windy but don't worry we dropped all the sails we're safe so nobody knew this squall would become what it was. That was insane. Um, I'm glad everyone's okay though. Yeah. That was so chaotic. <sighs> Hopefully it's quieter in here. This is lavender. I need some of this. I need to like really chill out, you know? Today was insane. All of a sudden it starts raining and we're like, oh cool, like rain, like hasn't rained in a bit. But then like, you know, the rain started picking up and the wind and then all of a sudden it's pitch black outside. Lightning occurs, thunder. I go up to the helm, I'm like, dad, you need help? And he's like, yeah, we need to pull on the jib. So we have to go head to wind to put down the mainsail, which was scary because those are where the waves are coming from. And then you got the rain like literally pelting into your eyes. And, and it honestly like gave me PTSD from when our sail ripped back in the Bahamas. Bad times, bad times. We don't need to remember that though. I'm ready for this day to be over, honestly. I'm so ready for this day to be done. Okay, we 
made it. Bye bye, David. Bye bye. Okay, so this is absolutely stunning. I was not expecting this at all. I'm like in the mangroves right now, in Grenada, and it's just so beautiful. This is like my favorite part, just like getting to explore things and go on adventures that you don't plan on going on. It definitely reminds me of a lake more than an ocean. The water is brown, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just happy to be anchored and not on the boat right now. Some guy just said, hi, what are you doing? And I was like, paddle boarding. Like, what, what does it look like I'm doing?